products and quotients and functions. So we can have a product where we multiply. So h of x can be f of x times g of x. f and g can be written in the same bracket. So f times g of x. Quotient means to divide. So you can have your f of x graph divided by your g of x graph. And again, that can mean f divided by g in the same brackets times x. Let's look at example one. You're given the f of x equation. This is a, a quadratic equation. And you're given g of x equation, your linear equation. We're going to determine h of x is equal to f times g of x. And we're going to state the domain and range of h of x. So to find h of x, to multiply these, I like to write them out this way instead so I can see them separately. f of x is going to be times g of x. So we're going to plug in f of x graph. So x plus 2 squared minus 5, and we're going to multiply it by g of x. So this needs to be around in brackets, and we're going to times that by g of x. Now we're going to simplify. So I need to foil out this x plus 2. Oops, close my brackets, minus 5. And I have 3x minus 4. So when we foil this out here, we're going to get x squared plus 4x plus 4, we have our minus 5 in here still, and then 3x minus 4, you have x squared plus 4x minus 1 times 3x minus 4, and now we're going to multiply this through, and we're going to get uh, 3x cubed, and plus 12x squared, minus 3x, minus 4x squared, minus 16x, plus 4. And now you're going to combine like terms. So your final h of x graph is going to be equal to 3x cubed plus 8x squared minus 19x plus 4. So you end up with a cubic function. So for a cubic function, you're going to picture what that graph looks like. Um, you also know there's no restrictions for, for if we're going to discuss the domain, there's no restrictions on a parabola. The domain of x of h of x is x e of f of x, rather is x e reals. The domain of g of x is x e reals. So that's important to note. So the domain of f of x and g of x is x e reals. Therefore, domain of h of x is also x e real. So there's no other restrictions in there. You can also picture that uh, this would be a cubic function. So it would have this sort of general shape and that would be x e reals as well. And for the range, you would actually need to visualize that shape a cubic function has no restrictions either. So a cubic function has a range of y e reals. So you have your y e reals is your range as well.